families. So I wanted to do a quick video for you guys on closet organization since we're doing a laundry unit. So um, as you organize your closet for your blind or visually impaired kiddo, um, it's really all about organization and consistency. Um, so regardless of what your closet looks like or what kind of a closet setup you have, uh, it's really all the same. Um, so it's really all about making sure that everything is in the same place all the time. So one of the ways to organize a closet for a kiddo is um, I have put all my dresses on one side. Um, so my dress and my long sweaters go over here and then they go in a Roy G. Biv rainbow order. Um, I have a jewelry divider. Um, so gold is on one side and silver is on the other. At the top is earrings. In the middle is bracelets and rings. And at the bottom is um, necklaces. And these, um, these clear pockets uh, allow our low vision kids to be able to see what's in there or would be able to easily accommodate a braille tag. My belts are here, but if you had a closet rod, just a straight closet rod across, um, this would be a really great way to be able to divide sections in your closet at no additional cost. Um, so up top I keep my bottoms and at the bottom I keep my tops um, only because these take up less um, vertical space and I have these bins. Um, so I keep uh, my dressy skirts in one section, my casual skirts in another, my leggings in a third, then my insulated pants and then my dress pants at the back. But even between my dress pants I've separated them out with um, a pencil leg pant and a straight cut leg pant so that it's easy to um, be able to find and locate. So um, just being real consistent about that. Um, at the bottom, I've organized my shirts into um, t-shirts and collared shirts and button downs and casual jackets, more formal jackets, my extensive collection of vests and my cardigans. Um, so everything is really easily found. Um, so I keep my shoes up top um, because I want to be able to easily vacuum under my um, clothes, but you would probably want to keep your shoes maybe on the floor or if you had like a middle section like I do, this would be easier for kiddos to be able to reach and be more independent. Um, but my kids only have a couple of pairs of shoes, so organizing shoes isn't a big deal. Um, and I keep my boots down here at the bottom to be able to easily separate and reach because um, it's hard for me to reach these shoes up here, so I have a step stool. So I like the ones that I wear the most down here. Um, so this is only one way to be able to organize a closet. Um, you could always organize it in color order and have all of your white items together, all of your red items together, your blue items together, and organized exclusively by color. Um, so for our low vision kids, lighting can be a really big deal, so making sure that they have the appropriate lighting that works best for their vision. Um, if your kiddo needs more light, um, it's pretty easy to install a battery operated light in your closet. Um, you could always use a flashlight if that's a good lighting source for your kiddo or the um, flashlight feature on a cell phone. Um, there are color identifier apps that you can get. You can also get a standalone color identifier. Um, some of those color identifying apps are free, which is great. So it's really about consistency and just putting everything back about where you got it. Um, another way that you can easily um, divide up some of your items is these plastic um, closing tabs that you can get on bags of apples and carrots. Um, these can accommodate a braille letter or two if you wanted to abbreviate some things. So let us know um, how you guys are organizing your kiddos' closets because we would always like to hear new information and tips. So everybody have a great weekend. Please let me know if I can help.